echinoderms, or sea urchins with prickly skin, are starfish. Despite their name, they are not actually fish. They are sometimes referred to as sea stars. Starfish do not have gills for breathing and are unable to swim. Starfish are as old as dinosaurs, having first been observed in the late Jurassic era around 175 million years ago. Across all of the world's great seas, there are over 2,000 recognized species of starfish that reside on the bottom, from the tropics to the frigid polar regions. The first known starfish were the Somasteroidea, which share many traits. However, starfish fossils are rare, maybe because of their strong skeletons that do not degrade with other animals. The Ordovician epoch, around 450 million years ago, is represented in the fossil record for starfish. However, this record is quite thin since starfish disintegrate after death. Finding the animal's remains is challenging since only its icicles and spines are likely to have survived. Only a few species of starfish survived the two big extinction catastrophes that occurred in the late Permian and late Devonian, which wiped off the blastids. These extinction events resulted in the extinction of several starfish species. The early and middle Jurassic periods during the following 60 million years saw a fast diversification of the few surviving species. Scientifically referred to as sea stars, starfish are related to sand dollars and sea urchins. In addition to their unique form, starfish are recognized for having an odd structure that enables them to digest food outside of their bodies despite lacking a brain or blood vessels. These invertebrate species have no real bones at all, nor do they have a backbone. One of the most distinctive features of sea stars is their arms. While most sea stars have five arms, some have as many as 40. These arms are often coated in spines for protection. Certain sea stars, like the crown of thorn starfish, have large spines. Unlike the majority of marine life, starfish lack a circulatory system. In contrast, the water vascular system of sea stars is a system of tubes that distribute seawater throughout their bodies in place of blood. On the oral surface of the starfish, ambulacra grooves give rise to clear tube feet. By combining adhesion and hydraulic pressure, the sea star moves. It works by drawing water into the tube feet, which expands the tube. The tube feet are retracted using muscles. It has long been believed that the starfish's tube feet include suckers on the tips that enable them to seize food and continue traveling over a substrate. One interesting characteristic of starfish is their capacity to avert their guts. By protruding their stomachs outside of their bodies, starfish are able to feed themselves. A sea star can eat prey larger than its mouth because, despite having a small mouth, it can digest its food outside of its body. The life cycle of a starfish consists of four stages, gamete fertilization, the early developmental stage, the transition to adulthood, asexual fertilization, and hermaphrodite species. Similar to frogs and fish, sea stars use a procedure called spawning to fertilize them externally. The brachiolaria stage of larval development occurs in many starfish species after the bipinaria stage. The larva descends rapidly to the bottom and tries to cling to the surface by first using the tips of its arms and subsequently its sucker. Once joined, it begins to transform into the adult form. Starfish go through two stages of metamorphosis, larval and juvenile. The remaining ones achieve this through morphogenesis, which is the process by which animals that has a mesogen phase change from embryos to juveniles. They will not be pregnant and will already be adults, albeit smaller in stature. The juvenile starfish will eventually mature into adult starfish and be able to procreate. 
As mentioned before, starfish reproduce sexually and typically have different sexes. Asexual reproduction is limited to a small number of organisms. It's uncommon and generally happens when it's least convenient, as when a predator strikes. Starfish are present in all oceans worldwide, whether they are tropical or frigid, because they are aquatic animals. Their presence in freshwater is peculiar. These amazing animals live best at the ocean's depths, where they cling to muddy, sandy patches between rocks and algae. The starfish have no trouble settling on the bottom, where they have a very simple life. At depths of up to 6,000 meters, they most frequently choose rocky surfaces, massive algal agglomerations, and coral reefs. The greatest significant danger to starfish worldwide is believed to be sea star wasting, SSW, illness, often referred to as sea star wasting syndrome, SSWS. Although this is an issue in itself, it can also be connected to other dangers, such the warming seas brought on by climate change. It is more difficult for starfish to transport oxygen over their surface when the oxygen content of the salt water is lower. If the oxygen content of the surrounding ocean is too low, starfish will not be able to get adequate oxygen and will eventually suffocate. Refusing to bring starfish home as beach souvenirs is one approach to stop the population collapse of starfish. Starfish are occasionally removed from their native environment and sold to visitors as decorations, trinkets, souvenirs, or aquarium exhibits. Starfish should not be preserved for decorative purposes since doing so depletes the native population. One of the biggest starfish in the world is the crown of thorns. With hair-raising spikes that are poisonous to both people and aquatic life, these hazardous sea stars can grow to be nearly one meter long. A single species of starfish uses its very flexible body and hundreds of tube feet to grab onto the surface of the reef, allowing it to eat through up to six square meters of coral annually. The distinctive feature of the chocolate chip starfish is the brown cones that stick out of their backs. This kind of starfish has a broad color spectrum, ranging from light tan to red, and may reach a maximum length of 40 centimeters. The sunflower starfish is well known for having an amazing one meter arm span. In the ocean, this is the most common species of starfish. Furthermore, sunflower starfish are efficient predators due to their 16 to 24 limbs. The most prevalent starfish along the Pacific coast of North America is the Pacific Blood Star, so named because of its reddish-orange hue. It is possible to find this starfish at depths more than 1,000 feet. Its sumptuous purple and gold colors inspired its name. The east coast of North America is home to the royal starfish. It may descend to a depth of 700 feet and remain in the 70 to 100 foot range, where it can feed on a large number of mollusks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Junior Library's channel for more exciting educational content. Let the journey begin!